I'm looking around. I look around the corner and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look how good I look with these glasses. What's good everybody? Before I get into this video, I want to announce that this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 10,000 10, prescription glasses and sunglasses from in-house brands and designer brands like Ray-Bans, Gucci, and more at up to 70% off. 70% off. Retail. Okay. Shopping online at glassesusa.com offers a risk-free shopping experience from free shipping and free returns and 100% money back guarantee. If you don't know what type of glasses you want, you can take a quiz on glassesusa.com and it will literally match you with the right pair of glasses that fit your face and what you are looking for. Glasses USA offers a collection of blue light blocking lenses. Blue light glasses are perfect for protecting your eyes, whether you're at home, work, outdoors, all that good stuff. Y'all, I literally have my glasses on right now and it's almost like high definition. <laughs> like I actually, okay, so I had some old glasses and I've been using them for two years. I literally just got these and I'm trying them on. This is fantastic. It makes me feel so fresh. <laughs> If you're not too fond of glasses, Glasses USA also offers contact lenses at up to 25% off from your favorite brands such as AccuView, Biofinity, and more. Oh, look at these. Like, great quality glasses. I actually never even knew that I would like the design of these glasses like this, but I really did. I tried them on on their website. On the website, you are able to literally like put a picture of your face and it'll literally show the glasses on your face so you can get a good feel of how the glasses are actually gonna look. So you upload a picture on the website and then you select any type of glasses and it'll literally put it on your face. So that you don't have to go through the hassle of going to the store. It's just so bland, it's so ugly, it's just so boring nowadays. Like we literally are in 2022. I almost said 2020. That's how fast the past two years have went. I wear glasses and I also wear contacts. If you didn't know, now you know. I have to wear glasses and I have to wear contacts every time I film a video, every single time I go outside and when I get behind a car. This experience working with GlassesUSA.com has literally been amazing, perfect. And the glasses came so quick. Y'all, whenever I used to order my glasses at the doctor, they used to take like a month, it felt like. And I'm over here just sitting blind like, I also got some shades. Look at how stylish. I am literally killing it. So y'all, I need you to click that link in my description box below. Check out glassesusa.com. You will not regret it. I promise you, you will not regret it. If you are out there wearing glasses, wearing contacts, do not pass up on this opportunity. They're always offering deals. Now let's get back into the video. What's good YouTube? It's your, oh my gosh, I just kicked my ring light. Oh my Jesus. What's good, YouTube? I really don't like this angle. How my forehead just be shining bright like a diamond in like every video that I'm in? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tyler LaDuff, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are not new, um, I love you, and you need to hit that like button. Everybody needs to hit that like button. Also, watch this video to the very end so that y'all can get all the juicy details, everything that you need to know about my crazy life. Today, judging by the title, you're probably thinking like, oh my God, and I'm over here like, yeah. I need to put on my glasses for this because I need to know what type of mood I'm in. Should I do my seeing glasses or should I do the shades? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put these on, the shades and the glasses, depending on the mood that I'm in and for the subject. So right now I'm gonna stick with my with these glasses. When I put them shades on, you're gonna know why I'm gonna be putting them shades on. Okay, okay, okay. You may or may not have met this person, or maybe you have, or maybe not. No, I don't think y'all met this person. I don't even think I even talked about this person on this channel. Last year, I was talking to a little boo thing. You know, I've been in the little scene of like dating and exploring some things and trying to put myself back out there on the market. Well, baby, I'm expired now. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, if I saw that man on the side of the street, I wouldn't even know that man. Sorry to that man. I am so tired of how everybody's been treating me lately. Like, I just don't know. I just don't know. So let me get into spilling this tea. So last year, I was talking to someone. You know, he was real. You, you could say 
masculine or whatever. We really, you know, some, some gays be looking out there and they really want you like a nice little brawn masculine man, you know? I was dabbling into that a little bit and I was talking to this man for like, for a little bit, you know? and. I was talking to some other people on the sideline. I'm not even gonna lie to you because you can never, ever, ever have too many doors open because of situations like this. Cause it's like, dang, deuces on to the next. You know what I'm saying? What should I call this man? I'm gonna call this man H for hoe. Me and H were talking. We met on an app, which is why I will never try these apps ever again. I promise you I'm done with these apps. These apps have been deleted, blocked off my phone in the bottomless pit of hell. Do you hear me? I generally thought that I met a really good person on one of them apps for the first time in like ever. We went out on dates. He came over. He met a couple of my friends. You know, we would always go out on these little like little dates, these little picnic dates, like everything. He took charge. I, I like it. Okay, I like it. When a man know how to take some charge, take charge. I don't know why I'm always the one that have to wear the pants. I'm tired of wearing the pants. You want these pants? Take the pants. I'm over the pants. I don't want the pants no more. Why is it that everybody in my life that really know me, they call me Papa Thailand? I cannot express to you that my friends, family, everyone, they be calling me Papa Thailand. Because I'm the one that I gotta clean up everybody's mess. You know what? I'm wearing the pants in every relationship. I just be wearing wearing pants. I decided to make friends within the community. And with the community, I was talking about the gay community. I normally don't do this. I normally don't hang out with nobody. I normally, well, I'm not gonna say nobody. I normally hang out with straight people, y'all. I do not, I just feel like the community is really messy. Really, really, really messy. And I just don't wanna put myself in a situation to where I have to be putting these paws on someone, you know? Like, I just can't do it. So I just hang out with the straights. But I finally wanted to soak it up and put myself out there and make some friends, introduce my friends to, you know, someone that I'm talking to. And then if we, if me and my man's is fighting, then I have some friends to go back to and be like, I can't believe this, but Roshan just, Roshan just did this to me. He was arguing. I never really talk about my relationships to my friends. I normally keep that private, like on that end. And then whenever I have like a juicy story time, I'll run to the internet on YouTube and tell everybody so that my friends can just have a video to reference back to. Yep. I started making friends with this guy that I also met on the app. You know, he's a little bit eh. He's a little bit flamboyant or whatever, eh. Which ain't nothing wrong with that. I was like, I like you. I like you as a friend. Let's go ahead. So we would go out and go get drinks. We would go to the bar together. We would do so much stuff. Like, it, it was fun. And I also like it to where you have friends that are not trying to get up in your in your jeans and your pants and stuff like that. You know, like it, like it was so refreshing to have a connection like that. It, it just, it felt so good. Me and my friend, who do I refer that friend as? S. Or slut. Anyways, so me and S, we were just like, well, S asked me, why do you never bring like your man out to like the bar? Like, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm over here like, well, my man really isn't into that scene. He's more so reserved. He doesn't like going out. Like, you know, H, H is like, I'm not gonna say he's, he was hood. He was just your, like, if you saw him out on the streets, you really wouldn't like think like, oh, does he like guys? You would probably be like, oh, probably got two kids and a wife at home. Not saying that he looked old. Did he? H didn't look old. I don't think so. Anyways, he was older than me. So I was just like, yeah, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not even sure if H really wants to see me in that environment. Because y'all, if I go out to the bar and I'm with my mans or something, or a female and they get touched or any type of way inappropriately while I'm there, these paws is on sight. Blink, blink. Like, come on, like, don't, don't be touching me. And then I already know H, if something happens to me and I'm being, you know, I'm getting touched or if I'm getting hit on, I know that's a wrap. H all over that. You gonna have to, you gonna have to pull out the glizz. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I missed that man. S was like, maybe you should just invite him out one day. So I said, okay. So I went over to H, texting him, whatever. And I said, are you trying to go out today? Like me, me and S, we're trying to go out. You know, like we're gonna go out to like, you know, those those bars, those little raunchy bars. <laughs> so I don't know if you're really gonna like like it or not. It's okay if you say no. And H was like, yeah, sure, I'll go out with you and your friend. I was like, oh, okay, okay, that was easy. It was just so whimsical. It was just so, oh yeah, I'll go out. And, and 
Keep in mind, H and S never met each other. And I'm like, this is so good. Like, this is great. I'm, I'm loving this. S was like, yay, I cannot wait for all of us to go out. I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. And I was like, okay. <laughs> we get all dressed. We get all dialed up. We looking good. We looking fresh. We doing, you know, we, we look, we all look <laughs> We came to serve out there in that bar. Did you hear me? H ended up coming over. I drove down to the bar and we met S out there. And S came up and was just like, oh my God, like, hey friend, hey friend. And I was like, hey friend, how you doing? And H is like, sup bro? Dab him up and stuff. And S is like, oh my God. And I'm like, you act like you ain't never seen like like a man before. S is like, so I really want to go into this bar. Like, I know, Thailand, that you don't really like it, but I really like it. And it's just full of gays. And I just really want to go in there. And I just, you know, I'm just trying to find me someone that I can take home later on. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we went to the bar. H, we, we all got inside the bar. H is literally like, what in, what is this? It's not my cup of tea. It's not anything that I'm normally like into, you know, you got, you got the cats popping over there. You got the butt plugs over there. You got no clothes going on over here. You got people making out on the flow. You got, you just got the rainbow up in here. The rainbow is very, very, very blatant. It is showing, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead, rainbow. Taste the rainbow. So H is just standing there looking uncomfortable the whole time. So me, I am a hype man. I love to get people drunk because it makes me happy and it makes me want to get drunk too. So I'm over here like, where's the liqueur? <laughs> Let me transition glasses down. <clears throat> Hello, this is uh, Drunk Thailand. Nice to meet you. My stomach just did the loudest growl I have ever heard it do. So I'm at the bar. I say, come on over. Come on, H. Come on, H. Oh, let's go get a drink. <laughs> and I'm looking at people, looking at this man because h looks like he is so out of place and he looks so uncomfortable and people just looking him up and down and i'm like eyes go somewhere else you touch you're getting you're getting whooped i'm ordering shots h eventually orders shots too we two 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 taking shots s over here wants to let's have a tequila sunrise so i'm like okay at this point whenever i'm drunk i can i can down some alcohol baby i can I can down a lot of things, but <laughs> but that alcohol, when I got that liqueur in my system, oh baby, it's all over. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about it. I'm feeling so good, and H is feeling so good. And even though we're drinking, I don't really like the music. I d I don't like the house party EDM music. I just I can't vibe with it. Like so, I'm just in there like. Okay. We keep on drinking and drinking and drinking, but y'all know when you get to the point of the night when that when that liquor hits you and you over here like, whoa, what's happening with life? You know when that when that liquor hits you to where you just everything just feels so good. Yeah, yeah, baby, that that that's how that felt. Mm -hmm. S is over here twerking on me and we just having fun. We just ah 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 ah, and H is like, go baby, go baby, go baby, like hyping us up. And I was like, oh okay. I said, okay broke down some barriers and stuff so then i saw some other people coming to the bar that i knew as well so then they come up to me and they're talking to me and they're just like hey like what's going on thailand and i'm like hey you know, what's up? you know and then i get noticed at the bar so then i'm over here like talking to some to some uh to some subscribers and stuff like that and then i start to look around i'm like Where is, uh, I was like, where is H at? I'm so lost. I'm just, I'm just so, so let me go ahead and put my other glasses on. <clears throat> now I'm in searching mode. I'm over here like, where did they go? I'm like, there's too many people in here. Like, how, where did they go? And I said, okay, anyways, so I'm over here dancing and nah, 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 and I'm like, boom, 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 boom. And then my friends asked me, they were just like, are you alone? And I was like, no, like, I'm not alone. Like, you know, like my man's is here. My friend is here and whatever. And I'm like, where are they? And I was like, that is such a good question. Like, I really don't know. I said, hold on, let's put everything on pause. Let me go find them. So I'm like going around, I'm looking around the dance floor. I don't see nobody. I go up to the bar. I don't, I don't see them. I go up to the other bar. I don't see them. I go to the bathroom. I don't see them. Okay, so let me just go ahead and text. So I text them 
And I'm like, where are y'all? And now I'm just sitting and I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't even know where they at. I'm just so lost. Like, so then I get out of the bar so I can call him. So I'm calling H over and over and over, no response. Okay, so what what is going on? I'm like, okay, so I start walking down the sidewalk by myself, my drunk ass. I turn around, which, so you go, so when, how the bar is, when you walk out, you, you go out and then there's like, you know, like the street lights and stuff. So then I go around to the left after that street light and I'm just walking because I'm like, okay, all this music out here is loud. People just being loud and stupid. So let me go somewhere where it's quiet. So I walk out, I turn left and I'm just walking down the sidewalk, right? <clears throat> Sorry, my heart is pounding. So I hear some rustling, right? And there's lots of homeless people out here. There's, there's a lot. I know some cities have more, but there's there's lots of homeless people out here, okay? So I'm thinking it's a homeless person, which you got to watch your back nowadays. And you know, like I'm always watching my back. Like I love the homeless people. I wish I could feed them all and I wish I can care for them. But I've had some bad experiences. So I'm looking over and I'm like, I'm like looking over my shoulder. Yo, tell me why I'm looking down the alley, right? Because this is the bars. So now we're behind the bars. So this is the bars and there's an alley, you know, separating why I'm doing my glasses off of this one i'm looking around i look around the corner and i'm like oh my god oh my god it is h and s getting it in s literally been over h is like doing his thing and i'm over here like i have never been so dazed and confused and just lost ever before in my life i really said y'all have fun that's literally what i said y'all would have thought i would have ran up there and bing 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 if you have the audacity for y'all's first time meeting to do this at the bar where i'm at too and y'all getting it in y'all have no respect for me no respect whatsoever so at that moment i was like I'm not even gonna waste my energy. Why am I gonna waste my energy going to jail for this for this BS? So I said, y'all have fun. S is like, oh my God. And H is like, so then they stop everything. So I'm walking, I'm dangling my keys. I'm ready to go. Walking around, walking around, do, 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 do. And I'm ready to get back to my car. Cause I can't believe it. my heart is racing y'all. Like I am so livid. I'm so pissed. I, that is so disrespectful, you know? And <clears throat> Lord knows that I definitely have grown up a lot because old Thailand, oh baby, I would have been sitting in that jail cell still to this day. <laughs> so I'm walking and I'm just, I'm walking so fast because I already know H is going, H and S is going to come up over here trying to apologize or whatever. I hear, Thailand, Thailand, wait, wait. I'm not even turning around. I'm, I'm basically almost at my car and H grabbed me and I say, don't. Don't, don't grab me, don't touch me, don't do nothing, because I feel like any little slight little do do do, I'm about to pull out the strap, because you really, this is the most disrespectful thing. He's like, I am so sorry, I'm so drunk, I just, I, I just didn't know, I just, I just, and I'm over here like, how did you not know? How do you not know that you're putting your peanut whacker in someone else? How do you not know? Because you're drunk? Were you seeing that excuse? Don't. So I'm like, get out of my face, H. Really? Get out of my face. Because I really just cannot believe you right now. And I'm so surprised that S, actually I'm not surprised. S knew not to show his face around me because I cannot get the image out of my head. How are you the audacity? Oh y'all, I'm, I'm reigniting some old flames. H is like, no Tyler, don't do this. And I'm like, no, you don't do this. How dare you? How dare you? Do you not know? And I was like, I hope that you have a very good life. Lose my shit, lose my number, lose everything. Cause I could not believe that you had the audacity for me bringing you around my friend to do this to me. That means that you have no respect for me. You didn't care. I care, I care. It's just a drunken mistake. I have been drunk so many times y'all and I have not cheated. People that do that like to use that as an excuse, but you still have full control over what you're doing. Alcohol may make you more loose, but that's, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. You want to sleep around. You want to do this? Go ahead. You can have all the alcohol. You can have all of S. You can have all of that. Just go ahead. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all because I'm really trying to boss up right now, but I was hurt. <laughs> I was hurt, y'all. I really like that, man. That peanut whacker was good. <laughs> I have to have more dignity 
in myself and I had to nip that in the butt, you know? Like, it's just, it's gone. So I said, find your own way home. You can't even let S take you home. You are not getting in my car. Tyler, please, let's talk about this. If you get inside of my car, if you attempt to get inside of my car, you're gonna end up underneath it. So he's just standing there, I'm walking back to my car because I'm basically almost there and he's just standing there, he's like, just bro, like I look and I'm like, he's just like, bro. And look, this is me, I'm over here like, I just can't believe this. So I get into my car and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. Forcing myself not to cry, you know that cry where your, where your throat like tenses up and you're like, Honestly, this was a learning lesson. A lot of people say, don't bring your mans around your friends. And I'm like, I've never lived by that rule, but after experiencing something like this, I'm like, okay, I can see why people think that, but it's because that was not your real friend anyway. And if your man or your girl is trying to like, you know, do things with your friends, then that's not your man or your girl. They don't have any respect for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's always gonna be someone finer than you. There's gonna be someone more quirky. There's gonna be someone more attractive. But when someone respects you and when someone loves you, they don't do things like that. So I'm glad that I got to experience this because this isn't gonna stop me bringing my future relationships in front of my friends and stuff like that. It's just gonna make me, it's, it's, a, it's a learning lesson that I had to go through. And I feel like in life, you have to go through certain things in order to grow. And life is all about lessons and growth and everything and I love that you know like even then like old time probably would have folded because H was texting me saying oh my god baby like I miss you like please like come back like I'm sorry I won't ever do it again nope I don't need that baby I don't need that S blocked S tried to apologize to me too don't ever need to see that person ever again moral of the story is have some self-respect figure out who your real friends are thank y'all so much for tuning into my story time if you paid attention to the promotion in the beginning of the video please do not forget to hit that link in the description box below you are going to regret it if you don't do it y'all give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you're new thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see y'all in the next video deuces